Good morning and welcome back to Breakfast Television. We're spending our day here at Superloop at 1400 Regent with car expert Bill Gardner. Now Bill, we're talking about maximizing our fuel efficiency. Is there one main thing we can do to make our car run better and save gas money? Every once in a while it'll be one thing, Drew, but 90% of the time it's the whole big picture. It's your driving habits. Could be tire pressure, could be an air filter, cleaning the fuel injectors, getting the right grade of oil. These are all things that have incremental inputs to your fuel, fuel economy. So basically what you want to do, start out, you know, bringing your car into super lube and getting an oil change is a great way to start. Okay. Upgrading to a synthetic lube will improve your fuel economy on some older cars. Some newer cars require synthetic oil, so it's a must. Okay. Uh, air filter. You know, driving in uh, Winnipeg the last couple of days, I've noticed there's always a cloud of dust and dirt in the air from cars ahead of you. And this is the time of year because they're doing the street sweeping where they're getting all that dirt off the sidewalks into the roads, but that could be going into our engine if we don't have this properly cleaned? Exactly. This this filter filters out all that grit, stops it from wearing out your engine mm -hmm. and ruining your engine, but when this becomes clogged with, with dirt, you have to replace it because it's restricting airflow into the engine. Okay. So a clean air filter can help fuel economy. Also, spark plugs, when they get older, yeah, it's Look at these. Yeah. These, are, these are spark plugs I removed from engines recently, and they're quite worn. The engines still ran okay, but they weren't getting the fuel economy they should get, so replacing them can really up the fuel economy. How often do you think we need to replace these guys? Well, actually, modern cars, the plugs are prescribed to be changed at 160,000 K. Okay. That's a huge interval. But there's a lot of cars that after 100,000 K, they're running just fine, but they're not getting the fuel economy. So a set of spark plugs, a new air filter, cleaning the fuel system, checking tire pressure, doing the whole big picture, and even improving your driving habits can really help. So, you know, in, next door at the uh, Super Auto Center where they do the tune-ups, they would do a professional fuel system cleaning for you. This is an aerosol they spray in the air intake. This is a, a cleaner, combustion chamber cleaner, and this is added to the fuel tank. Now this is a this is a professional grade kit. Yeah, we're not picking these up to use at home. This no, is just at Super Loop. No, they would use this in the shop. And uh, of course, tire pressure is a very important component of fuel economy as well as the lifespan of your tire. If the tire's underinflated, it's not safe and the car doesn't handle well. But it, it if it's underinflated, it also in, increases your rolling resistance. We, we were talking about that a little bit earlier too. Um, how do I know how much uh, pressure should be in my tire? Is it list posted somewhere in my car or in my manual? There's always a deck on the car somewhere and it varies from one car to the next. A Volvo car, for example, it's on the fuel filler door. When you, every time you, and I think that's a great prompt that Volvo does. Every time you fuel that car up, you see the tire pressure sticker and it prompts you to think about checking it and adjusting it. But uh, most cars it's on the door, some cars it's on the trunk lid. But whatever your vehicle is, you should familiarize yourself with where that sticker is and look at the pressure. Make sure that you do a monthly tire pressure check because for every five degrees Celsius, the temperature fluctuates. If it goes down 5C, we lose one PSI. So, you know, if you checked it on a 20 de degree Celsius day in October, a month later you could have a zero degree day. You've lost four PSI right there with no leaks in the tire. That's a big difference. Bill, thanks so much. And the tire pressure check, something easy that we can do. The other things, uh, come down to Superlube. They're taking care of that thing, checking out that air filter, making sure you got the synthetic oil. They'll let you know about the spark plugs. All of these small things will make a big difference in your fuel efficiency. We're taking a quick break here on Breakfast Television, but more to come later this morning on City.